The biblical account of Noah's family centers on their selection by God to repopulate the earth after a catastrophic flood. Noah, his wife, their three sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth and their wives, who remain unnamed in the scriptures, are depicted as living in a time of great moral decay. Despite the widespread wickedness, Noah is described as a righteous man, a beacon of integrity and faith in a corrupt world. Noah's righteousness is attributed to God's grace, emphasizing that true justice in God's eyes stems from faith and obedience, not human deeds. His unwavering faith is exemplified by his construction of the ark, a monumental task he undertook based on God's warning of an impending flood, a phenomenon unknown to humanity at the time. Noah's decision to trust and act on God's word, despite its seeming absurdity, is highlighted as an active demonstration of faith. Life aboard the ark was challenging for Noah's family, as they endured the hardships of a confined space amidst the chaos of the flood. This period likely reinforced their dependence on God's providence and promises. After the flood, they emerged to a desolate world, tasked with the daunting responsibility of rebuilding civilization on the remnants of divine judgment. Expanding on this, Noah's story can be seen as a narrative of faith in action, where belief translates into tangible deeds. It's a tale of perseverance and hope in the face of overwhelming adversity, serving as a testament to the enduring human spirit guided by divine will. Noah's journey from constructing the ark to restarting life on a new earth symbolizes a fresh start, a second chance for humanity underpinned by faithfulness and divine guidance. This narrative continues to resonate as a powerful example of faith, obedience, and resilience. In the biblical narrative, Noah's family is depicted as the sole survivors of the Great Flood, saved by divine grace. After the waters receded, Noah's first act was to build an altar and offer sacrifices to God, expressing his gratitude for their deliverance. God blessed Noah's family and instructed them to be fruitful and multiply, echoing the original command given to Adam and Eve. He also established a covenant with Noah, symbolized by a rainbow, promising never to destroy life with a flood again. This covenant and the survival of Noah's family represent God's enduring grace amidst human sinfulness. The descendants of Noah's sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth became the progenitors of various nations and peoples, spreading across the earth. However, the narrative also acknowledges the persistence of sin, as illustrated by Noah's drunkenness and the subsequent actions of his sons, which led to blessings and curses that would shape their futures. The story of Noah's family underscores the need for God's grace in addressing the human condition marred by sin. It suggests that redemption is the ultimate solution to sin, not the eradication of sinners, as the flood did not cleanse the inherent sinful nature of humanity. Expanding on this, the account of Noah's family serves as a reminder of the challenges Christian families face in maintaining faithfulness in a world often at odds with biblical values. It calls for living by faith, upholding God's promises, and practicing obedience, even when it contradicts societal norms. The story exemplifies the importance of being a beacon of justice and righteousness in a corrupt world, just as Noah was in his time. Ultimately, the tale of Noah and his family is a testament to God's sovereignty, the gravity of sin, the reality of divine judgment, and most importantly, the grace of God that offers salvation and sustenance to his people across generations. Noah's legacy, through his wife and three sons Shem, Ham and Japheth continues to be a powerful narrative of hope, renewal, and the transformative power of God's grace. The biblical story of Noah illustrates two key principles. Principle one, God's grace for the righteous and their families. Noah's life exemplifies the belief that God's grace extends to those who walk with him. In Genesis 6, 7, 9, Noah is portrayed as a righteous man amidst a corrupt world, finding favor with God due to his faithfulness. This favor was not limited to Noah alone. It encompassed his entire family, who were also saved from the flood. The narrative suggests that God's grace is inclusive, covering not just the individual but their household as well, as seen when God commands Noah to enter the ark with his family Genesis 7:11. This reflects the idea that the blessings of a righteous life can have a positive impact on one's family. Principle 2 leadership and responsibility within the family Noah's role as a leader in his family is crucial. He had to guide his family through the construction of the ark and the aftermath of the flood. The story implies that being a good leader involves walking with God, which means living in accordance with His word and will. This leadership is not just about authority, but also about setting an example and guiding one's family in the ways of faith and righteousness. 
Expanding on these principles, we can draw parallels to contemporary life. Just as Noah's faithfulness brought grace to his family, individuals today can positively influence their families and communities by living a life aligned with divine principles. Similarly, the concept of leadership within the family underscores the importance of guiding and nurturing one's family, not through coercion but through example and integrity. In essence, the story of Noah and his family is a narrative about the transformative power of faith and the ripple effect of righteousness. It teaches us about the importance of maintaining a steadfast relationship with the divine and the impact it can have on our lives and those around us. It also highlights the role of family leaders in shaping the moral and spiritual direction of their households. Noah's story is a timeless reminder of the enduring values of faith, leadership, and the far-reaching grace of God. If you've been inspired by the story of Noah and the transformative power of faith, then this is your moment to act. Join us on this journey of righteousness and grace by subscribing to our channel, where we explore the timeless lessons from biblical narratives and their applications in our modern lives. Don't forget to hit the like button if you appreciate the content, share with friends and family to spread the wisdom, and comment below with your thoughts or questions. Your engagement helps us grow and continue to bring you content that enlightens and uplifts. Remember, just like Noah, you have the power to influence and lead by example. So let's walk this path together with God as our guide. Subscribe now and become a part of our community seeking hope and renewal.